So yesterday was the 35th day of protests in Elizabeth City over the police killing of Andrew Brown Jr. Um, now obviously yesterday, or the, rather the day before yesterday, we had an altercation with a vehicle. Um, and so we had an even bigger turnout uh, yesterday uh, than we did the day before. Uh, so the vehicle attack did not scare people. Well, it probably did scare people, but it didn't scare people into staying home. Uh, we had even better numbers than we did the day before. So um, right beforehand, uh, the deputy police chief and some other bitch come out to try to like lecture us on how to stay safe or whatever. And so I asked them a couple questions and uh, I, <laughs> I didn't get any response, but I did ask some questions. Do you apologize for not doing your jobs yesterday? Do you apologize for having officer par on the force? Anything? Any accountability whatsoever, Jimmy? Officer par, is he gonna get fired, yes or no? Do you even know who he is? Now obviously, if you don't know, officer par is the one who is blocking the angry racist. And then they moved out of the way as the protest was getting toward that street. And then the angry racist drove into the crowd and hit three people. Uh, and so, no, they have said nothing on whether or not Officer Parr is still on the force, whether or not he is on administrative leave, whether or not he's been fired, whether or not he's had any complaints against him. They have not responded to a single question, uh, myself or other people asking them, about the status of the officer who let the car hit us. I am not going to let this go. I will be asking them this question every single day for the rest of their lives until I get a response. So let's keep going. Anything? No? Just gonna walk by the Confederate monument? I bet you like that monument, don't you, Jimmy? Is that why you moved here? So actually, I made a mistake. He didn't move here. Actually drives two hours every single day. Uh, and so we start marching. We're marching up a fucking storm. Thank you, Fun Police, for the 499 Super Chat, by the way. We're marching up a fucking storm. People are pissed, as you can see. I took this really, like, this is a good ass photograph. You got the flag. Right? You got like, you can't even see the back of the protest. There's so many people. It's a good ass photo. Can I just say like, you know, hats off to me, right? Like hats off, right? I can't take my hat off because I have the headset on. So that would be like a whole thing. But hats off to me for the good ass photos. Um, and so we are marching on Erringhouse Street and we are approaching the area uh, where the angry racist hit us yesterday or the day before yesterday. And as you can see, there's even more cars here. Uh, multiple different agencies just blocking that street, uh, learning a lesson potentially. But there were also instances where cops were not blocking streets. So, I mean, yeah, they blocked that street with two cars, but they left some other streets open. And so I just want to say, again, I want to give everyone this like little like, reminder here, right? The police asked us to file permits for our protests, parades, um, so that they would know how to protect us. Why are we filing permits if they don't protect us? That's my question. Why are we dealing with that bullshit? Why are we like giving them our information in advance if they're not going to fucking protect us, right? And they're not gonna answer questions about Officer Parr. What's going on there? That's weird, it's strange, right? They're just gonna pretend like they had nothing to do with it. I'm not gonna let it go. It was not a random act of violence. It was a random act of violence perpetuated by police. Police instigated it and set up the situation for this random act of violence. That's what happened. And so ECPD trying to pretend like that's not the case, them trying to save face and block this with two cars. I'm sorry, go fuck yourself, burn in hell, bitch. I don't give a shit about what you have to say. So we are still marching down Erring House. Um, and uh, this, is, this is an interesting, and now it's really hard to see because these little cowardly beta male bitches have their windows tinted. But uh, I ask, I find Felton's car, Lieutenant Daryl Felton. I find his car and ask him some questions. Uh, and now again, it's really, really hard to see his body movement on the camera, but I'll try to describe it for you after the clip here. So just check this out. Are you gonna do your job today, bud? You thinking about it? So Mate? as you can tell, his hands are flailing. What he's doing is he's going like, oh no, no. He's doing like the shoulder shrug thing. Now again, it's really hard to see here. But, thinking uh, about it? Maybe. You can see him flailing Maybe. his hands, as you can see. Uh, and so Felton's playing along. He's like, oh, whoops, you know, people almost died yesterday. What a funny joke, right? So this is the kind of absolute state that we're dealing with in Elizabeth City, right? These motherfuckers 
demand that we give us their routes so they can protect us from vehicle attacks. Vehicles hit us, and then when asked about them, oh, I don't know, <laughs> oh, look at me, I'm a cartoon character, woohoo, go fuck yourself, Daryl, you piece of fucking shit, you're not funny. So we're going back, we turn around on Airing House, and uh, we're going backwards. Now again, you can see this giant mall parking lot, right? Now again, a lot of cars uh, are being fielded this way, but there's a lot of vehicles this way, and so this is a friendly vehicle, not even a police car, blocking the parking lot here. So that's very interesting. Uh, very interesting that the cops are not blocking all the streets. Uh, now again, I feel like, hey, I don't necessarily want the cops along the whole route. I'm saying, fuck the permit, let's do whatever we want, right? But the police, are specifically trying to corral us and they're not doing their fucking jobs and they're treating us like we're fucking ants in an ant farm motherfucker they're treating us like we're dogs in a kennel right and they know that they're winning they're successfully corralling and liberalizing the protest even after almost getting us killed they're testing the waters that's what ecpd is doing all right we can almost kill them and they're still going to follow the protest permit what else can we do can we actually kill someone and then they're going to follow the permit can we kill two people can we injure a kid are they still going to follow a permit if they if we injure two kids what if we injure three kids like that's that's what i feel like they're doing here them refusing to apologize or even acknowledge that police had any wrongdoing i'm sorry go fuck yourself and any one of the protesters and i don't mean to be too rude here but any one of the protesters who is not interested in holding them accountable for officer Parr driving out of the way i'm sorry but what the fuck are you doing what the fuck are you doing like seriously why are you going out there and being nice to cops and not asking them about why they let someone hit us that like i'm i'm serious about this this is a life and death scenario people almost fucking died the other day and people are just gonna pretend like it's business as usual are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me that is some beta male bullshit okay that is not community that is not solidarity. So I'm not going to like call anyone out by name here, but there's a couple of people that I'm sorry, you need to fucking stand up to the fucking police. They're out here trying to get us killed. And you pretending like that didn't happen is an insult to me. And it is an insult to the people that were injured. I can tell you that. So, um, this is another shot that I took, uh, when I hopped up on a little bit of a, like a little brick thing. Uh, and so, uh, this is, uh, as you can see, as a result of yesterday, now we've had caravans follow us, um, a lot of the time. But uh, yesterday, after uh, the day before with the car attack, we had even more cars follow us. Just prevent uh, any police or anyone else uh, from getting toward us. Now again, I want to remind you of what police had said before. Felton, Daryl Felton, the fuckface uh, who said that there would never be a vehicle attack, Charlottesville would never happen in Elizabeth City, that dumbass fuck for brains dumb fuck, came to us about a week ago and asked us not to have cars in our, uh, in our protest because they don't know who they are. That's what Lieutenant Daryl Felton said. Lieutenant Daryl Felton requested that we have no cars at our protest. Because we don't know who they are. Okay. Well, you didn't know who the car was that hit us the other day. And you didn't do anything. In fact, actually, you did do something. You got out of the way. And you let them hit us. So again, I don't give a fuck what these dumb motherfuckers have to say. If they want to come out here and lecture us, I'm sorry. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm just not going to let people get talked down to like they're fucking three-year-olds. If you are over the age of 18 and you let a police officer talk down to you, I'm sorry, you're a child. You're a fucking loser. You're a beta and you're a fucking coward and you should just stay fucking home. That's what I have to say. So we're on Water Street here. Um, and we wrap back around. No real incidents to report. Uh, nothing really happened. Uh, it was just a very nice march. But, you know, I'm like protesting that is within the confines of the permits and within the confines of the police is not a protest it's a parade uh we are not doing much of if at all economic impact on the city of elizabeth city or pasquotank county and so that's my personal opinion i think we need to change tactics that being said i mean i'm still going to be here and covering every single day regardless of the tactics and again uh, the police do not keep us safe. Anyone who's out there trying to pretend like they're on the side of the police or trying to pretend to be both sides, go fuck yourself. You are putting me in danger. You are putting our children in danger. You are putting everyone in danger. When you pretend that a cop is your friend, you are putting us in danger. You are giving them control, right? Now, again, what happened when the cops had control? They drove out of the way and let a fucking Confederate hit us. 
That's what happened when they had control. So I say, fuck their control. They're not doing anything. Let's just fucking do whatever we want. Right? What are the police going to do? Just ignore us? No, they're going to fucking escort us regardless of what we do, regardless of, of, of whether or not we file the, or follow the fucking permit or not. They're going to fucking escort us. And if they want to arrest us, let them fucking arrest us. Arrest me, bitch. I fucking dare you. That's free content for my motherfucking podcast. You want to arrest me for peacefully protesting? Do it, bitch. I fucking dare you. I dare you to arrest me for peacefully protesting. I fucking dare you, motherfucker. If I get arrested before Officer Parr gets arrested, mm, that's going to be some juicy fucking clips that I get to post on my YouTube channel. Let me just fucking tell you. So again, fuck the cops. Fuck Felton. Fuck Avins. Fuck Buffalo. Fuck all these fucking losers. And fuck anyone who thinks that they're their friends. I'm sorry, but seriously. I'm like, my patience is wearing fucking thin on these motherfuckers who are trying to pretend that the cops didn't try to get us killed the other day. That was on purpose. You don't accidentally drive out of the path when an angry racist is yelling at you, right? You don't accidentally drive out of the path and let them hit protesters. You don't. That is on purpose. That is a purposeful act of violence and agitation. That is the police officer saying, I wish I could do this myself, but I've got someone that's willing to do it for me. That's what that is. And anyone who thinks that it's anything different, I'm sorry, you're a fucking sheep, you're a fucking clown, and you should just stay the fuck home because you're doing a net disservice to our fucking movement. That's what I say. That's my opinion. You can feel free to disagree with me and you can feel free to still continue to be out. That's just my opinion. If you are supporting police in an anti-police protest, Hey, maybe go do a picnic somewhere. Like, maybe go do your own form of thing. Because I'm serious. Like, the police killed Andrew Brown. They're not our friends. The police killed Andrew Brown. The police moved and let someone hit three of our protesters. They're not our friends. Plain and simple. They're not our fucking friends. And if they're your friend, then maybe I maybe you shouldn't be my friend if that's the situation. If your best friend is the fucking chief of police, hey, I judge you by the company you keep. Take, I take guilt by association on that front pretty seriously. I can't trust a motherfucker who's got fucking cops out the wazoo as their fucking friends, as their posse. I'm sorry. Just can't do it.